All right, here again, we are at the uh, Tilta booth with Nick. Uh, really exciting new thing. I know you guys have teased this for a while, uh, the new Nucleus N, right? Um, why don't you give us a little rundown on kind of all the new features and what's making this a really unique product? Absolutely. So this is the Nucleus Nano 2. Uh, as you can see, it had a pretty big facelift between the previous model. Uh, there's a lot that's different with this, but just to kind of go over the you know the basics, the broad overview, um, you now have a, a pretty large touchscreen display that's going to give you access to a lot of more functions. Um, you have multiple motor control, meaning with this single wheel, we're able to control focus and zoom. And then with an expanded handle, we're able to control a DJI Ronin, a couple other interesting systems uh, that we're working on in the prototype phase, um, as well as a third motor for Iris, essentially making a, a pretty compact way for someone to have focus Iris and zoom without going with a more traditional Fizz system. Uh, with the new screen and the new firmware, uh, there's a couple of, of really interesting uh, communication options, most specifically for camera control with select Sony, Blackmagic, and Canon cameras. You're able to connect via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB-C via the motors and then can change settings like ISO, F-stop for electronic lenses, white balance. Pretty much if you have this thing uh, and you're using it with a camera that is on a crane, on a gimbal, somewhere that's hard to reach, you're able to have this kind of all-in-one option for, you know, focus iris zoom, any camera settings, um, and then a lot of kind of quality of life, you know, improvements uh, such as lens profile data, something that even a more advanced system like the Nucleus M does not currently support. Um, going to allow you to calibrate your lenses, save that data, pretty much have it ready to go on set, cutting down on a lot of time when calibrating. And uh, yeah, there, there's a couple other fun small features, um, but that's kind of the, the main overview. Uh, it's going to be coming in at the same price as the original Nano, starting at $299 for the hand wheel and a single motor. And we're going to have a few different kits, including the expanded handle, you know, multiple motors, probably some other accessories. Cool. Yeah, it's a really sweet system. It's sweet to see a, an awesome user interface on something like this uh, that makes the operating, the calibration, lens profiles uh, a lot more uh, easy and quick to access. So that's really cool. Really cool with the price point too. Question on the battery. Uh, it, does it have a removable battery? Is it charging? How does it charge? And then run times? Yeah, so that is a pretty big change uh, with this unit. So the hand wheel itself no longer has a removable battery. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why we did that. The big one is so that we could take advantage of uh, USB-C. Um, this means that you can now charge the internal battery via higher voltage sources like PTAP. So if you are building out a monitor wireless video already using Boulder V-mount batteries, uh, you, you no longer need to worry about swapping out smaller batteries because you can connect it directly to a higher voltage source. Um, if you are using it just separately, it does have roughly a seven an hour runtime of consistent use. However, in most narrative or you know commercial environments, maybe outside of documentary, uh, that's going to be a lot closer to the 15, 16 hour range. So much more than needed to get you through a 12 hour day. Um, but we still have some options in terms of people who need swappable batteries, um, and that's going to come in the form of these handles. This handle runs on Sony F550 batteries, and pretty much it means that it's going to expand the life of you know the battery that's included. So um, any battery that you would insert into this handle would then power the hand unit, um, and then these can be swapped. Meaning, although it is an internal battery, you do have a lot of options to kind of uh, you know fit any kind of need. Yeah, that's cool. That's uh, sweet to see some. Uh alternative battery options for it and that runtime is uh, I guess better than I expected with a screen like that that's really cool um, and then you did mention there might be some cap uh, some I think what you guys have done with the compatibility and uh, specifically the Ronin line the DJI stuff so you said there might be some functionality that can kind of tie with that system is that correct Yes, yes. So that would be like an example of this handle. Um, it would have the same wireless technology as our other control options for DJI Ronin. Um, and, and to kind of go off of that, this this whole system, whether it's, you know, follow focus motors or for DJI, it is all the same kind of wireless, you know, connectivity um, in terms of this will work with the original Nano, it'll work with the original M, it'll work with the Mirage motor, where we're pretty much making a system that uh, is fitting in with the existing ecosystem and is not necessarily replacing uh, anything, meaning if you already have 
have a system and you want to add an individual component, you have the option to if you want to do a full upgrade. Uh, the new motors are a lot smaller and stronger than the original Nano, a lot closer to the Nucleus M, and they run on USB-C with USB-C pass-through for stacking multiple motors. So it's really just about expanding options, um, and that, that applies for the Ronin compatibility as well, uh, just kind of building on what we've done in the past couple years and making it, it putting it all together in an easy-to-use, you know, system that's compact and uh, kind of, you know, offers the control that, you know, ACs are, are looking for, um, but still at an affordable price. Yeah, that's great. Uh, excited to see it come out once again, the price and the expected ship date for these. So it's going to be starting at 299 for just the wheel and a single motor. I'm sure we'll have kits ranging in the 700 range. Um, we'll, we'll have different options a la carte if you're just looking to build out something custom. We're hoping to have more information on, on pricing and exact shipping date probably later uh, in May. Um, and we're, we're hoping to start taking orders and shipping these early summer, possibly June, maybe July. Cool. All right. Well, appreciate your time, man. Excited to see all the other stuff Tilt has in their uh, pocket. Thanks, man.